And what about you? And in this one here, we have the hose up the tailpipe and we're connected to our little pressure pulse sensor. Connected into your Pico. Waveform on the screen. And what we have is a sink on cylinder one with an attenuator. Okay, so that's, that's the engine run, and that is our sink there. You can see it's spiking up to near 400 volts. That's why we have our E20 to 1 attenuator. And that very even red line there is the pulse sensor that's in the exhaust. So that's, that's cylinder 1, and that's cylinder 1 again. So that's our four pulses from our from our four ignitions uh, from our four exhaust pulses I should say and that's uh, coming from the wee Pico channel 1 channel 2 channel 1 with the uh, attenuator on it so we're going to induce we're going to create a fault here and see what that does first okay with a fault now uh, Sitting top of the oil filter cap there, that's the number four injector. That's the number four injector disconnected. And the car's, don't know how you can hear it there, the car's shaking about a wee bit. It's run, running pretty lumpy. So this is our waveform now, exact same sentence. And we'll see what we've got. So our trace from our pressure pulse sensor isn't as even as what it was. So we're going to save these waveforms and uh, do a bit of analysing and see if we can uh, see if we can make sense of what's going on with this uh, red red trace here. So we can clearly see that the uh, car's not happy. Okay. So this is a video from uh, a, a guy here, uh, Mario, who. Uh, posted this video recently on YouTube and I watched it a number of times. It's probably one of the best, if not the best video I've ever seen on YouTube. And the reason why I decided to do this video was because he's using the Delta sensor here. He's using the first look sensor and that's the green trace. He's only after doing a relative compression test. So that's his, his current waveform there. And he's making use of this uh, cylinder uh, overlay. And it's a six cylinder engine so he's got his firing order here going down the way starting one five three six two four and he's identified from the relative compressed test there's uh, there's it's, it's low on cylinder two but he sees an anomaly here in the waveform of the delta sensor. So Brandon here Brandon Stackler explains it absolutely eloquently and he describes how the uh, pressure stroke here, or it's really the expansion stroke because this was just a crank waveform because it's a relative compression, is related to the inlet here of cylinder five. So he talks about companion cylinders and he, see, he brings that waveform down. And he, this, wa this waveform here, this is very important that this waveform here is taken from the inlet manifold. So this is the exact opposite of what I did there with the, the, with the exhaust pulses. This, this is negative pressure. So this is a delta of negative pressure. So I'm gonna show you a wee bit of uh, the difference between, the big difference is from a first look sensor and a, a normal pressure transducer, that this is measuring the difference. It's not measuring uh, the actual, uh, these peaks do not represent the actual negative pressure. It's the, de the difference in pressure. So I'm gonna show you a wee clip and, uh, of uh, how we can determine that. Okay, I've recorded a lot of this as uh, screen captures here, so we'll just run through it. So uh, this is in the, in the Pigo software. I'll just run this. 
So what we're doing, we're going to go up into Edit, Copy as Image there, click on that, and then that allows us to go into open up our uh, Pressure Waveform Overlay program. Uh, right click paste and that's our uh, waveform imported from the clipboard on the computer. So we'll click on the uh, the checkered square there and we're going to enter cylinders, sync on cylinder one, fan order one, three, four, two, hit go. So that's that up there. Now you may notice it's a wee bit different from uh, Brandon and Mario's one where this one, uh, if you look down in the bottom left there, uh, cylinder one with the arrow going up the way, his was going down the way, but that doesn't make any difference whatsoever. It'll still do what we want it to do. So I'm just moving it about. Uh, we can uh, dim it, move it, and we're moving it from um, our sink on the left there from our ignition. And we're just making it a wee bit darker so we can see. So the color key up in the corner in the top right Hope you can see it there is the yellow is the intake, uh, the beigey color is a compression, the expansion stroke is the red, and the exhaust is the brown. So I'm just going to mark it here. <clears throat> In the software, uh, there's arrows and markers and like a paint tool. So I'm going to use that in this a wee bit. And uh, that's our exhaust strokes. So because we are doing uh, this wavy, the red sine wave type there is from the exhaust. We're only interested in those brown boxes and that's our exhaust. So the exhaust and cylinder two and one. So that's that. So this is a, a mixing capture and what this is. is the pressure pulse first loop delta pressure sensor connected to the mix sig on 200 milliseconds and what i'm doing there is i'm just blowing into the pipe three times three pulses for that we capture so we'll maybe just run that again that's pulse pulse and pulse okay so we've copied that onto our pressure overlay program just because it was open and I'm just going to draw a few wee things on it here. So I'm drawing a wee arrow there. That's where I blew and if you notice it's negative, it's down the way. So a positive pressure is where I'm, and I'm marking that way a B, where I'm blowing into it. So that's a blow and a blow and a blow. So that's a uh, positive pressure on the negative and then when I let go it spikes up to the top and it spikes up to there onto the delta onto the, the the response of it. So that's that's the difference between the transducer. The transducer if that was a transducer it would just be constant. Uh, the pressure would go it would just be a spike and then it would go back to zero. But this is a delta, this is a difference pressure sensor. So it's measuring uh, from plus to minus. So that's that's what we'll have to keep in mind and that's how we can interpret these, uh, this makes sense of this uh, exhaust pulse waveform. So we're back into the Pico software. This is the uh, saved waveform of the, uh, the, the fault. So we're going to just play that and run through it. So Back up into edit again, save the image, and back into your pulse waveform. So what I'm demonstrating here is we're going to actually have the two captures here. So we're going to have we're going to send one to the front and one to the back, and we're going to alternate between the two. So you can see over the the far right, uh, that's the original waveform. That's the good trace, and we're going to send that to the back, and that's our bad trace. Again, with our overlay on it, you can move it about uh, a wee bit just to sit, move it up and down. So I'm just moving it over to the left just to put it in the sink with one. Now, uh, we're using the fan event uh, on the left there. Uh, it occurs more or less top dead center. So uh, it's usually just before top dead center, but it's good enough for what we want to do. 
and we're marking the exhaust strokes again. So there are the peaks, they're more or less the same and the one that's different is cylinder four. So that is cylinder four there and that's we're gonna just highlight there as cylinder four. So we're gonna explain why that is the way it is. Okay. So if I remember our uh, pressure pulse waveform here, uh, we see the peaks uh, in the positive and the, in the upward, the peaks up the way here, uh, which are, are the response for that. So it's these peaks here that we're seeing on the, uh, on the Pecoscope trace. And hopefully that explains why uh, the, the, but this, this is the, the cylinder with the injector uh, pulled, uh, cylinder four, but it appears it's larger than the other two. So that's the, that's the, re the, the response from the pressure pulse sensor. Uh, you'd th people think that it should be, it should be lowest because it's the lowest pulse, but it's, it's because it's, a, it's the difference, it's the highest difference is what you're seeing here. It's the highest difference. And so what you're looking for is an anomaly. So the highest difference in the pulse is the bad cylinder. So we'll go back to Brandon's trace and uh, we'll just see that on his. So he's sliding the waveform down. He's getting rid of his relative compression waveform. And he's bringing this down in on the overlay there. So he sees this, this anomaly here. On, on this column here but you have to remember that they're testing the inlet so we're only interested these this green waveform is only corresponding to the inlet squares there so this is how you interpret these waveform overlays okay so just to put this back up again uh, this is Brandon and Mario's negative and this is the the Delta this is the Delta and that's his anomaly and he's bringing that down and he's, he's, uh, this is an intake. So it's the opposite of what we were doing. We were doing exhaust, so we were positive pressure and this is negative pressure. So that's why uh, this is the inverse, the exact opposite of uh, what we were showing you. I hope, hopefully I've explained that, hopefully I've got the point across. And uh, just the, the last wee segment of this is gonna show you uh, just where you get the overlay program for free and it's uh, from Microsoft you can download it yourself have a play with it uh, if you hit the help button on it uh, it takes you to a YouTube video which uh, gives you a wee bit of uh, a wee bit of a, uh, a run through of some of its features and uh, it's dead easy to use but just a note that the the pressure the cylinder waveform uh, works the opposite way but uh, it doesn't really matter so here's where to get that uh, pressure waveform overlay program. It's, it's in the Microsoft Store. This laptop here is running on Windows 10, so uh, yours might be a wee bit different, but uh, it's, it's basically an app, uh, and you can, you can put it in onto your desktop. So go into Google, pressure waveform overlay is what I uh, put in the search there. As you can see, pressure waveform overlay, and we get a Google search there and uh, microsoft.com uh, English, US and English GB comes up. So I've just, I selected the US one there, but I'm gonna change the English one. That's what comes up as a, an app screen. Uh, it's free and you hit that uh, get GET over there. Open Microsoft Store, click that, and that brings that blue screen there up, which is the Microsoft Store uh, loading. Just moving that in the center of the screen and we'll get that let that load in there a few seconds just get it let it cook there for a second and there we go now i've already installed so it's going to say uh you and this app this product is installed but that'll come up uh that'll come up for yourselves okay uh that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Many thanks for watching. Hope you, hopefully you got something out of it. And uh, many thanks for watching and all the best and bye.